The main mission of Teeks is actually pretty broad. Uh, we don't just do fire training like you're seeing behind me. We do training for law enforcement. We do business development training. We do uh, infrastructure training. So what most people would consider public works, high line training for line workers and wastewater utility type of training. We do that as well. We're very cutting edge in the training that we deliver. Year round, we're providing training related to leadership, basic firefighting skills, advanced firefighting skills, it's shipboard, aircraft, industrial, or structural firefighting. We're also home to Texas AM Task Force 1 and Texas AM Task Force 2. We have the largest fire school in the United States. It's the second largest one in the world. The only one larger than this is over in the Middle East in Qatar, and that one is actually managed by us. Our instructors train there. We manage that particular site as well. Teeks is a world-known name in the emergency response training industry. We've trained in over 80 countries uh, this past year. We've, uh, we train all over the United States. We also have an extension program that goes out all over the state of Texas. We provide industrial fire training, municipal fire training, hazmat, rescue, and all leadership courses here at the facility. This past year, we trained over 116,000 students. There's no other training facility in the world that can say that they've made that type of impact. One of the big aspects of TEKS is the curriculum. We use career firefighters, people that are in the business, to be the subject matter experts to make sure that we are developing curriculum that has real world application in it. Disaster City is 60 acres of engineered buildings and rescue props. You won't find a disaster city anywhere in the world that is more realistic than what we have here at Brighton Firefield. Our training field, it has both industrial and municipal props. We have burn buildings for interior firefighting, structural firefighting that we do the training there. We also have industrial props. Our municipal firefighters today have more industry in their districts than they've ever had before. So it is important that they also are out here on these industrial props and learning how to handle an industrial situation safely. We're known for our fire training, but we also want to be known for all the other aspects of emergency services training that we can do. We do high angle rescue, confined space rescue, rope rescue. We also do uh, train the FEMA teams. We do hazmat training. And then we have the EOTC, the Emergency Operations Training Center. That's where we do our higher level professional training for more of your officer level, uh, PIO level, uh, fire chief level. Because my training is so diverse and well-rounded, it's brought uh, different things back to the city, different things back to my company that I can now pass down to the firefighters that are assigned to me. Coming to Teeks and taking these classes, it makes me a more well-rounded asset. I've been trained in all these different uh, specialties and so if they need somebody at the wildland station or you know hazmat station I can fill in for that. My dad started bringing me up here in 1968 he was an instructor out here and, and um, so this year is the 90th I can remember all the way back to about the 39th or 38th school and um, I've watched this fire school develop into this world-class operation that it is and this annual school every year is a it's a tradition. We have an overarching goal of 300 by 30, 300,000 students by 2030. That's very attainable for us, and that's a, com a combination of training, physical site training and then online training. But really, what we need to be known for, and I believe we already are, but we want to continue to expand that, is being delivering cutting-edge training that is the highest quality. And that's what draws people back to us year after year. You know, we have the greatest fire training field in the world. Uh, the props are all realistic. And that's the main thing. We want realism in our training. We want you to be able to come to a training, get on a prop and say, hey, I can see that happening in my town or my facility and uh, know how to safely handle it.